The coding durability test puts excess through a cycle of 10,000 strums. Through the lens of a microscope, it is clear that excess retains its composition better than other coded strings. Testing complete. I see you play, it seems, mostly with your fingers, but you're going to pick some of the time? Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm trying to figure this out, you guys. I don't know if anyone has any advice. But yeah, there's things I can do with a pick, you know? I feel like, uh... I can really get... I can really get into the uh, articulation much more exact. Sure. And um, I don't know if it's just a matter of like you got to practice more with a pick. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but uh, I feel like I'm a little bit in a middle zone. My friend Mason Stoops. You guys know Mason sure. Stoops. Mason actually put this pedal board together for me, so that's I'll have a good to friend. Thank you, Mason. Uh, he is committed fully to the finger style, and yeah. it's like. I'm always talking about, I'm like, man, I feel like I need to just jump off that cliff and dive into that. And he's like, yeah, man. <laughs> you know, but I'm like, oh, but then, as you know, sometimes I want to be like, yeah. you know what I mean? And that's, that's pick territory. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Yeah. So, okay, mom, I'll practice more. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that's great. Okay, so that's number one, clearly, yeah. but you carry a couple yeah. others. What do you got over here? All right, I'm going to have to thank Mason again because Mason is Captain Telecaster, and I asked him to help me find a telly. So he's just going through Reverb.com, sure. you know, and sending me listings. And he sent me this one, which is just a parts guitar. No name on the headstock. Um, I just... It came in the mail. It was 800 bucks, which I feel like is yeah. pretty reasonable. Sure. I tuned it up from completely slack, and it rules. And uh, I haven't even changed the strings once, and, I've, and I love <laughs> really? it. Yeah. And you have I, no other details other than... Correct. Other than these are the TV Jones. Um, they're, they're humbuckers, but they're apparently, like, output-wise, closer to single coils. Oh. They're not, like, super hot. So you have to adjust your amps. Exactly, yeah. which I was having a problem with humbuckers where, you know, uh, obviously the output difference with the pedals kind of changes how you would set yeah. the pedals up. I keep this in um, open E-flat, which is um, a tuning I use a lot for songs, uh, you know, in that register in my voice. Sure. Um, I got things in B flat and whatever that work well on that. And then this one, another parts, actually this is a, this is a Japan 62. Oh, okay. Reissue. Yeah. Like this, but one of the made in Japan. And then I got this crazy neck, feel this thing. Ooh, wow. Yeah. That is extreme. This is a Mike Cornwall neck, Los Angeles legend. Yeah. Um, introduced to me by Mason again. And uh, he builds these, uh, he built this neck by hand and it just carved it out. It's, it's got a crazy V shape. I don't know if you can see how intense that is. Yeah, I would think but <laughs> that would be an awkward adjustment. It feels that is, amazing. Yeah, so I, I love it. The first thing ever, you go like, whoa. It, 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 yeah, it, it, and this one I keep in, in open D um, and play slide on it. Oh. And uh, yeah, for me, like, you know, I, a lot of this is a songwriting stuff in terms of where, yeah. where the tunings are. Yeah. Um, and so, depending on the song, it's that's why I have three. Sure. Yeah. So, when you break a string, <clears throat> not yeah. if, yeah, when, yeah, yeah. you don't have a backup for it. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you yeah. mean to say, hold on a second. I get, you know what I've done in the past, We've I, I have a tech with me on this tour, Mr. Cheeks. Thank you, Mr. Cheeks. So Mr. Cheeks is gonna, I, I, you know, I'm like, ah, oh, ah, give him the guitar, and then I pick one of those up and just play it, even though it's in a different tuning. Sure. I can kind of play. Yeah. I know the song. Yeah. I can play it in the other. Although kind of a tough adjustment on the fly, right? Yeah, I have to think about it for a second. Yeah. But um, so far it's only happened once, and Good. we got through it. Okay. By the end of the song, I was just kind of like, <laughs> and, and he's like, yep. I'm like, wow. <laughs> this having a tech thing is. Yeah. It's yeah. great. I was like, okay, you got three minutes yeah. to change the string. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, great. Yeah.